good morning yeah friday <laughs> come to an end of another week man uh, you feel a little exhausted tired like a marathon yeah 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 sprinted through this week trying to get to the end of the week get to a friday and saying oh god thank you i have two days break ahead of me some of you possibly only have one day break ahead of you but you know what uh god is our break not so god is uh, the source that uh, strengthens us and 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 rebuilds us and and puts us puts our feet back on our path today are you on the right road mm, okay <laughs> come on on this friday you're looking back and you say man i don't know if i've been on the right road no well today you can correct it yeah you need to get back onto the right road you need to get onto the road that god has for you remember yesterday i ended off by saying god has a plan and a purpose for your life mm. And so you, you feel a little bit lost, then find God, find his plan, find your way back on the road that he has for you. Yeah, Go to his map. <laughs> Remember yesterday I spoke about the map. You've got to be on the right road. Well, if the word is the right road, I need to find my way through. I find my way through the word of God. Yeah, come back. And people say, ah, oh, you know, do, is it really necessary for me to have God's word? Well, well, well God's word is, helps me to build my faith it teaches me it shows me it reveals to me the way of life and my life needs to be found in the person christ jesus now remember thomas we spoke about him thomas knew that he was on the in the in the right place when he met jesus after his resurrection <laughs> he meant said like okay yeah even though the doors were locked around me this is the right place this is where i need to be yeah why because jesus is standing before me i doubted him hmm? Now he's standing here, ready to reveal the marks in his body of that, what he, he did for me on the cross of Calvary. And John 20, 26 says, Thomas was with him. The doors were locked. Suddenly Jesus was standing among them. <laughs> Let me tell you, no locked door can keep Jesus out from your life. Yeah. Hmm? No matter how many doors you lock around you, you know, God will find his way in. Uh, Adam ran. Hmm? God found him. <laughs> you think you can run from God? You can't run from God. No man can run from God. I believe God has revealed to all humanity him. I believe, I, this is the firm belief that I have, that before somebody dies, I believe God reveals himself to them. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he will do that. But I do believe that and again, he offers himself to them. This is what he will do. He reveals himself to them. You either reject or you accept. Again, it's up to you. You know what? I don't want to wait for that day. I don't, I don't want to depend upon that day. I don't want to make it so fine, my, my life so finely cut that, that I'm going to wait for that. It might not happen. So I want to make sure on this side that I'm ready to meet God on the other side. Not so. And, and the way that I can do that is by accepting Jesus as Savior of my life. You see, when you get lost in life, you often lose the track of time and direction. It's often difficult to find your way back to where you once were in your walk with God. Don't, don't lose time. Let me tell you, it was difficult for Adam and Eve. Hmm? Instead, this is what they should have done. They should have run to God. Instead, they ran from God. And as a result of that, they lost time. <laughs> 4,000 years. <laughs> That's what happened until Jesus stepped out of heaven and revealed himself to humanity. In John 20, 26, listen to this. Eight days later, Jesus finds Thomas. <laughs> Eight days later, from the, from the disciples' first encounter, from the first encounter of Thomas, encounter after Jesus' resurrection, it was eight days and Jesus reveal, reveals himself to Thomas. The devil will do everything in his power to distract you, take you off track, and lead you down the wrong path just to get you away from the fellowship of Christ. This is exactly what the devil does. There are presently many forms of distractions in the world and in the church. Oh man, there, there is so, so, so much distraction, so, so many lies being taught. Uh, so many untruths being unfolded, and yet people are so gullible that they fall to it. Let me tell you, uh, if your preacher is not preaching the cross, then find a preacher who will preach the cross. 
Because you know what? If he's not preaching the cross, he's preaching something else. Because the only way to the Father is through the Son, Christ Jesus, and that what he accomplished for you upon the cross of Calvary. I want to say to you, there are many churches that you need to run from today because they are watering down the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's no longer the truth of the word of God that they are preaching, but now it's an adulterated word. It, it, it is mixed with, with, with man's theology. No, get rid of man's theology and get go into God's theology and get back into the word of God. Believe the word of God as it is written. We don't change anything. People say, no, we've got to change certain things because it's outdated. No, the word of God can never be outdated. You see, as soon as the devil says, did God really say, then it's time for you to run. There are so many gender confusions in society today, so much wickedness in society, which has been embraced as normal. We, we, we need to walk away from things like that, people. It's time for us to turn back to God. The church has become afraid to preach the truth regarding salvation found only in the person of Christ Jesus. Why? Because they're too afraid to offend people. Let me tell you, the gospel will offend uh, I must probably offend you every single day. Why? Because I preach the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. The only way to the Father is through the Son, Christ Jesus. Come on, it's time for you to make your way back to God. Let's close this week in prayer. Father, I thank you that again, we could turn our hearts back to you to realize that you are the only way, the only truth that we need in our life today. So today, we embrace Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives. Until next time, stay strong and stay blessed.